You knew it, you knew it would happen if you've listened to the show the last couple days. You knew it would happen. You knew Roberto would eventually brew something up in that ridiculous head of his. Welcome in on a Wednesday. Now, we have a lot of uh, ground to cover today. I, I'm going to be selfish to start this show, and I have a question. And then we'll get into the business of the day, the NFL Competition Committee. A lot to talk about there. I thought Doug and, and Scott had an interesting discussion early in their show. Uh, I don't know if they went back to it. I only got to hear an early portion. But uh, regarding Ziggy Ansah, and, and I talked about the move and I loved it, but Doug said something that I think it's interesting. I disagree with it, but it's interesting. Um, so I do want to touch on that. Um, God, we have a lot of stuff here. But I have to I have to start out with this. This just angers me, and it is a very basic question. If you work in an office, and, and I apologize to our ladies that are out there, um, because this is truly a, a, a men's only topic. How, how do you miss a urinal? How, how do you miss? No, no, no. Now, and I'm going to be very careful because there are certain things I can and cannot say. I, I, I want to make sure we keep this very G-rated, okay? There's no excuse as a man to miss a urinal okay you know like i said it's a very basic thing now i wouldn't say anything if we were talking about um a teardrop on the floor what i just encountered in our bathroom <laughs> roberto I'm not kidding you can go in and look go into the bathroom first urinal on the right what I encountered looked like somebody had spilt an entire small Starbucks oh my God. in front of the urinal. And, it, it, Roberto, we're talking about it put me in a spot where I go, if I'm going to use this urinal, because you're not going to step in uh, moisture, we'll call it. I was going to have to stand a foot away from the urinal to not encounter someone else's misfire. Jamie said this on the morning show a little while ago that um, there's so much DNA in that men's room. <laughs> it's unbelievable. How do you, and again, I, I, again, obviously men are the only ones who use a urinal. How do you miss a urinal? What happens a lot of the time is I'll go in there and I'll see people talking on the phone, oh. texting on their phone. So I think oh. when you have, so that now all of a sudden you're down to one hand, oh. and, which should still be more than enough, obviously. But... I think that might play into it, the fact that they're preoccupied. The urinal comes out, you know, six inches, right. eight inches from the wall. It gives you the opportunity to, and again, I want to keep this G-rated. You guys can figure out where we're going here. I, I, I just, I, you got to try to miss it. And what you've got currently in our bathroom today now, one of the urinals is unusable, because of the uh, spring showers <laughs> that are in front of the urinal. I, I've, How? Al I've always been a proponent. I said it's never a mistake. It's an act of defiance. You, you really think people are striking out no. against Entercom? Yes. Okay. No. <laughs> Viva la resistance. Take this. <laughs> I'll show you. You want those TPS reports? I mean... I don't know. Listen, I'm just, it's its a light way to start the show. I, I just don't understand it. And I was left there almost muttering to myself. Like, how do I work amongst these people? There's no way it was an accumulation. That had to be one person. I, I don't know. It could be an older person that maybe couldn't control their body as well. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> I'm just trying to think. I mean, I mean, you don't even have this issue in school. No. When I drop my boys off, I go to, to their restroom, take them. There's no issue. No. Why do we have an issue with grown men? You know why? Because we have, we have man babies that work here. <laughs> you got some people at this place that can't even put the odor on. Oh. Why would we expect? No, you, you know the people I'm talking about. Yes, I do. Yep. Or per son. <laughs> Little sticks. <laughs> I mean, it's just, I mean, I, look, it angered me. I was in a good mood. I thought we had a lively crosstalk today. Make crosstalk great again. I just decided I was going to uh, jet over to the men's room before we begin the proceedings. Hopefully, your shoes were tied. Uh, you know what? Oh, I'm. No. You know what? I'm oh. glad. No, 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 no. Oh. No, stop. I'll tell you this. 
And then, I don't know if this makes me weird. I always check my shoes before I go to the men's room for fear of that. Because then, if your shoelace ever hits the bathroom floor, forever unclean. It's like the league. When the kid eats the ice chips, forever unclean. I would have to throw my shoe out. I always check my shoes before I get up to go. Always. I don't know. if Is that OCD or am I just a nut? No, it's being uh, a good person. But, Roberto, do this. Because then we're going to get down to business. And I've, I, I, it, go and look in the bathroom right now. <laughs> go, it's the first urinal on the right. All right we'll what you will see is someone spilled the equivalent of a glass of Diet Coke. <laughs> you, will, you would have to stand a foot from the urinal. Like you're shooting a jump shot. All right, look in the glass. Roberto's jogging back there right now. <laughs> all excited to go look. Yeah, that's the fastest he's moved ever. All right, so let's get down to business. I just had to start with that. I don't know if you guys run into that in your office. But, but boy, how many oh times How many times have we been on the air and talked about an issue we have with the restroom? Tons. It's, uh, it's something else. There's really no other way around it. Where do you want to begin today? And I know you're angry. I know you're not happy with me right now. No, I'm not. No, you can don't fake it. Don't make something out of it that it's No, not. you're not happy with me because I didn't want to do the LeBron thing today. You're not happy with me. No, I was not. Ha- that wasn't. It wasn't the LeBron thing. It was the fact that I was upset that we none of us could agree on a number of topics. It was just a culmination of There's that. There's 18 things on this sheet. I know, but we were trying to pinpoint it, and I just got a little flustered about it. L- Briefly, I'm fine. Okay, Roberto, quickly, and please be mindful, G-rated. Okay, you know the rules. Tell me I'm wrong. It, it looks like somebody spilled about a half a 20 ounce of Mountain Dew on the floor. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. How do you miss a urinal? That whoever did that should be suspended. Fired. Well, I was trying to be nice. No, but it's in like the smaller one. You know, like how the urinals are different. There's a tall and then a, a short. Yes. Okay, bottom line is you would have to shoot a free throw <laughs> to use that urinal. If you know what I mean. <laughs> now, I will say this, though, and I'm going to say this in a very G-rated way. Please keep it clean. I will. A lot. We're getting flooded with texts of people giving us the reason why. And basically, I'm going to say this in a very professional way. Please. Um, that it, that could, The reason for it could be if someone was maybe a little excited, so to speak, or okay. whatever uh, reason. All right. oh, come then on. that Then that caused it to, <laughs> to be on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Which I don't know why they would what? be. What is it like that scene in Me, Myself, and Irene? <laughs> Come on. All right. That's that's enough. We're I le- told you I'd say it in a nice way. You did. You did. Hey, I'll, t- I'll tell you who's excited. Me. We've got a big show today. This is, we're very, we got a lot of things and LeBron ain't one of them. Sully's angry. It's going to be really, really good. Roberto, great work on the song. No more discussion about the, how do you miss a urinal. I just don't understand the people I work with. All right, listen. During these winter months, your vehicle needs some extra attention. O'Reilly's got everything. 